It is so bright today. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday the 21st of February and I am headed to lecture. I know um, we have a quiz today. We don't know what it's on. It's probably on um, fluid and electrolytes and acid-base balance because that was the lecture. Probably also ABGs, arterial blood gas. Sorry, I have a cough drop in my mouth. Um, I did go over all of the, um, the lecture uh, PowerPoint that was over an hour long. I got all the um, printed papers that they um, put up on Canvas and I did all of the sure path relating to the fluid and electrolytes and acid base. Um, what else? I did a quiz uh, yesterday, which was like um, a pre-assignment for our student nurse day, which is tomorrow, but I didn't realize that there was also an ATI assignment that has to be done. So when I get home today, I will have to do that. Um, what else? Oh, the, you know, the instructor kind of released some grades finally for the past um, few weeks, a few of the assignments, so that was good. Um, so far, I have 100 in clinical. <coughs> I mean, there's still some assignments to be graded, though. Um, and the my grade in um, theory hasn't changed, so I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sorry. So it's still an 88 in theory, and um, hopefully I uh, have a little bit of time to refresh all my notes and PowerPoints and papers and everything uh, for fluid and electrolytes and ABGs before we start class today. Um, there is like frost on people's lawns. It's in the 30s. It's the end of February in Florida. So I will say that, um, just like an off-topic note, uh, last winter, you know, we had multiple days in the 20s and it killed a whole bunch of plants. I think not just mine, but like a lot of people's stuff. Um, but we didn't have like as many days of cold. It was just like super duper cold when it was. Uh, this winter, we've had a lot of days in the 30s. Uh, I don't think we ever reached the 20s this winter, but there's been, um, ha has to be, you know, somewhere between a dozen and two dozen um, mornings in the 30s, which is a lot for Florida. You know, and it's gone on a long time too. It like started in December. Here we are at the end of February. We're still getting them. So, um, interesting. I think it has to do with like the El Nino thing. Um, but anyway, so headed to lecture. I'll see how it goes. Um, I have a video that I have uh, just posted recently. So you can check that one out. It was from week five. I also um, just finished the video for week six. I just need to uh, get it ready to post, which will be sometime this week. Um, and then that'll be up to date. We are currently in week seven. So, um, yeah, we're just kind of flying along here. Next week is week eight and then it's spring break. So, um, that'll be much appreciated. Although it looks like where I'm going on spring break with my family is going to be raining the whole time. <laughs> so maybe I'll get a lot of homework done. We'll see. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be headed out onto the main road, so I will catch up with you guys later, probably tomorrow on the way to school for student nurse day, because that's our clinical this week, and I'll let you know how it went in a uh, lecture today. Catch you then. Good morning. It is Thursday. There's some frost at the end of February in Florida. 30 degrees again this morning, third day in a row. Good morning, everybody. So, like I said, it's Thursday. It is, um, student nurse day. <laughs> it took me a minute. <clears throat> like I said, there's frost on people's lawns again this morning. 
Um, so yesterday's lecture long um, we did have our quiz uh, we, we basically did uh, ABGs arterial blood gas value um, practice questions over and over and over and over and then it was part of our quiz and also we went over the electrolytes which was also part of the quiz um, I think I did okay. I was a little confused about, you know, one of the instructions she had said, so I think I missed one because of that. Um, but they haven't posted the, gra uh, the grades for the quiz yet, so um, I guess uh, they probably just want us to get ready for student nurse day and not worry about the quiz right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... I actually picked up a cold again so that's lovely um, so I have a cough drop in my mouth again so today student nurse day I was helping them uh, yesterday the nursing club um, I'm not an officer I'm just a member um, but I often go help the officers with whatever task they need to do um, so I was helping them yesterday get stuff ready for student nurse day. It's going to be a packed schedule. Um, I hope I have what I need because I don't know. I mean, it said to dress in your you know observation uniform, which I'm hoping is the black because that's what I'm wearing. I did bring my white scrub top just in case. It didn't say anything about bringing lab bags or books or anything, so I didn't bring any of that. Um, but I do have a like tote bag with my lunch, um, my stethoscope case, and my wallet and keys, my badge and all that. So I have that um, and my water bottle. That's it. So hopefully there's nothing else that we need today because uh, I won't have it. So um, from what I can tell, because I you know briefly have heard about the schedule and everything from going to all of these um, help out sessions for the nursing club officers, is that uh, there's going to be some speakers, like guest speakers. There's going to be like... Um, some activities and uh, it's pretty much the whole day as far as I can tell um, so yeah should be fine this is our clinical this week so there won't be another video for this week I'm gonna work after today I'm gonna work on getting um, last week week six's video up and then I'll get this one scheduled for week seven next week is week eight um, and that's the last week before spring break. And, and it will be a busy one because there is a sim. And then there's a, a lecture. And um, there is a clinical. But I've already spoken to my clinical instructor about that one because we had already planned on going on spring break. Um, once, we, once I found out my schedule was going to be Thursday clinicals, we planned on leaving Friday. Well, and then in the middle of the semester, my schedule became Fridays, so can't reschedule the um, vacation because that's already been booked based on my older schedule. So it is what it is. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head out onto the main road. That's the update for this morning, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Good morning, everybody. I just want to do a quick recap of student nurse day from last week because I didn't do that yet. Um, but overall, it was awesome. I loved it. Um, basically, what it came down to is um, there was like a whole bunch of, of professional nurses, right, from all different fields and levels of study. Um, and there was uh, different panels you could sit on and ask questions to them. Um, so that's what I did. So basically, I sat on the, um, on the nursing panel where there was a nurse practitioner, a psychiatric nurse, um, 
a home health slash teacher nurse and another nurse practitioner who has her own business. So that was super informative. And then I went straight to a, um, uh, a nurse who graduated from my school several years ago. And um, now she basically encourages new nurses to stay and not get discouraged. Um, by the transition from, you know, from being a student to becoming an actual nurse. So that was really cool. And then it was lunchtime. And then when we came back, I went to a trauma nursing panel. Um, but really, they just kind of answered any general questions. Um, and then after that was nursing student Jeopardy, which my team got second out of 16. So that was cool. And that was the end of the day. So it was awesome. Um, I thought it was like a really great opportunity for learning um, just in a different fashion from sitting and listening to a lecture, like the interactive, you know, question and answer sessions. Awesome, loved it. So um, that was student nurse day. So that video will be finished up. Um, I had a super busy weekend and I'll talk about that on the next video. Bye.